What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of What Are They Cooking? The series where we feature all of the hypest replays that the audience sends in for Edison format. Um, and as always, if you've got a replay you want to see on one of these segments, just go to the Discord link in the description and post it in the Edison format replays channel. Now to start off today, we have a high-rated match between Ronok and... I'm not going to try to pronounce that, um, but yeah, uh, it's been a while since I featured like some high-rated content in in this series i don't know we've been like derailing into more jank stuff which you know i guess kind of the point of the series but every now and then we were usually showing off some high rated gameplay so that's what we're gonna have here today um ronok appears to be i'm featuring this me replay honestly more for what ronok was playing he's playing some kind of yamata dragon <coughs> frog deck like spirit frogs i guess um actually i don't know if he's on hino kagatsuchi maybe he is also on that from what I've seen here, it looks more like just Lad plus Yamada Dragon. Um, but this is a very interesting build by Ronok. He's got like um he's got like Star Blast in this I unironically he's playing Star Blast in this deck, which uh, we'll get to that card when we see it, but it's a pretty funny, uh <laughs> pretty funny inclusion. So I think that we're just playing a more regular frog build. I forget if it was Hero Frog. I think it was Hero Frog. Um yeah, Ronok actually just scoops that dust shoot. <laughs> Oh, man, rough game one there for Ronok, but that's okay. He regeki breaked a set dupe frog, and then he got Kai's dust shooted. So, yeah, there's the, the aforementioned Star Blast we're seeing right here. And this game, we're kind of going to get to see Ronok's deck a little bit more in action. And, yeah, we are on hero frogs. So, winning game one, going in game two, attacking with Stratos here. Opponent's going to draw into that Yamada Dragon. Pitch to special swap. See, they could have used the Star Blast here, honestly, if they wanted to. But I guess they choose to set it instead. <clears throat> which is, like, not that different than if you had just used it, honestly. Like, you... I feel like just using it means that the Treeborn's not locked, but, like, Ronox kind of on another level of frog, so maybe I really shouldn't... I shouldn't question his decision-making here, but... Uh, yeah, so, obviously, the Yamada Dragon's going to draw, resolve, and we are indeed going to draw four cards, and it looks like Ronox is just playing every discard trap in the book. Just, like, the name of the game is Yamada Dragon, draw a bunch, and then, you know, control the game with some discard traps. So here we're going to go set Regeki Break. Opponent, Ronok, going to pitch the Dandy with for his Regeki Break. Kill our Regeki Break, get some tokens, and now we're going to go in again with Yamada Dragon. However, we have Battle Fader, and Ronok now has five sets. Five sets. <laughs> this deck does a lot of setting for frogs. Um, Treeborn, just eternally dead, I guess. Uh... If we draw a Heavy Storm, there's no protection either, which is funny. We draw Vanity's Fiend, but we don't go for it, figuring one of these five back row must get rid of it, and we are... <clears throat> we're definitely correct about that. So we're going to use Econ to switch the Fader to attack mode, and we're going to pitch one of our redundant Yamada Dragons for the Regeki Break to hit the set monster, which is actually just a, a Treeborn. I don't know, maybe we should have just not Geki Breaked there. I guess we have another discard trap down anyway. Um, but now we're going to see the Star Blast come in big. We're going to use it to pay 1,500, reducing the level of the Yamada Dragon to 4, so we can just normal summon the dude. So Yamada Dragon is going to come down, and we're just going to draw three more cards. All right, we've 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 resolved yet more Yamada Dragon draws. Let's see what we're going for. Vanity's Fiend, however, that's going to eat a Karma Cut. No! I guess we want to brain control that, try to go for a game, maybe? No, we don't have a pass to game. Uh, well, t is going to be used. Now we do, what, Tribute, Set, Dark Dust... And then set another back row. Okay. So we're going... Standby phase Karma Cut. Fortunately, uh, yeah, Econ couldn't be chained anyway since the monster is set. Um, so the Treeborn is just gone. Karma Cut's actually really good in the mirror if you think about it because it takes out all the Treeborns. We're going to go Solex Caius. The back row is a Phoenix Wing, though, which can be chained. The question is, do you want to chain that? Maybe. There's no Treeborn Frog in rotation, so they have to have another way to set up the Caius. So he's actually not going to chain it, though. Uh, he just... Just draws enemy controller. Okay, that's fine. Well, we're going to double tribute for the Yamada. We're going to draw three more cards. How many times, Ronok? How many times are you going to resolve Yamada Dragon in one duel, man? Oh my god, what? No! <laughs> he dies to Wild Heart for game because he can't Regeki break it. It's unaffected by traps. Ronok was on 1500 and he gets exactly lethaled by Elemental Hero Wild Heart. Dang, his deck was so cool. He drew so many cards with the Yamada Dragon. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. Oh, well. Still, very, very based idea by Ronok. Um, why why are we playing Wild Heart, man? We're just like Hero Frog. We teched in a Wild Heart. Okay, funny. Next up, we got Cloudians. I don't think I've ever shown Cloud. Have I ever even played 
Cloudians on the chat. Maybe once. Maybe I did some kind of build with Christia or something, but I, like, honestly can't remember. Um, and the opponent's just playing Black Wings, which... I mean, yeah. It's, like, the boring deck of the format. Typhoon gonna be used. Fortunately, we win the 50-50, and we don't get owned by the Legacy of Yadagrasu. Um, I guess we just blind Typhoon because we didn't want to get um, Icarus. <clears throat> We're getting Mind Conned, though, so they take our, our Sheep Cloud. And I guess they're going to main two Synchro with it. Yes. Uh, so they go into Stardust and set a Deep Prison. It's going to be kind of obnoxious to get around. Stardust is pretty good against the Cloudians, actually, I think, because all, a lot of them destroy. Uh, let's see. We got, we're got playing Fog Control? <laughs> My God. I mean, I guess. I guess we got to do what we got to do. Um, so we tribute a Cloudian to gain three counters if we need it. Uh, so we're just going to summon Cirrostratos Pass. Uh, what does this thing do? Is this the... This is the Destroy Monster one? Okay. So, like, they all do things with fog counters. And they all place fog counters when they're summoned. So, I, I think these tokens are Cloudian monsters. So, it goes up to three fog counters since we have a bunch of Cloudians out. Uh, but we can't use it, right? Because we're just under Stardust. And we can't use Acid Cloud either because it destroys spell traps. And the Stardust will protect that. So, it's like, what do we... Are we going to, like, sacrifice one of them to the Stardust effect? And then, no, nah, we're just we're just chilling. All right, we get Stormed. We're going to chain Fog Control, tributing one of these Sheep Cloud tokens to put a bunch more counters on stuff, I guess. Uh, okay, opponent flips someone's shirt. Why was there a set shirt, actually? Uh, we are taking damage, but the Cloudians can't be destroyed by battle. However, what do we do? We, we try to get rid of the back row. Okay, they tribute. We're going to kill their guy with Cirrus Stratos. But then we get Mirror Force, summon another Cirrus Stratos. They drop Dark Arms, we're dead. All right. Well, that didn't look too good in game number one, but maybe we pull it back in game number two. What the hell is this card? Hold on. We get Stormed again, by the way. Um, it's our field spell. Sanctuary is kind of funny in here, because, like, your Cloudians can't be destroyed by battle, but they have to be in attack mode. But if you have Sanctuary, you're just, like, invincible. However, we do get Stormed, which means we are no longer invincible. The cool thing is they can't plus by running over our stuff with Shura. Um, they're just going to go for some damage here. Okay, I haven't actually read Updraft. Remove all fog counters. Inflict 300. It's just like a crappy burn spell. I mean, I guess if you just fill your field with fog counters like we did last game where there's like... I don't know, though. You need like a lot of fog counters for Updraft to be doing shit. We're going to pop a set card with the Acid Cloud. But once again, they're just attacking us. Nothing's dying, though. Nothing's dying. Our Cloudians can't be destroyed. We're going to activate Summon Cloud, which um, doesn't really do anything, right? Or I, I mean, it does something, but in this situation, it's not really that important because I think it's like a Valhalla, and you need multiple, or you need to have no monsters. So we're just going to crash a Sheep Cloud, get some tokens. Now we summon the Seer Stratos, get, get five counters, or wait, how many does it gain? Place one for each Cloudian. So yeah, it gains five counters, and then we can remove... Four of them to pop both of the monsters. All right. Uh, let's see. We get deck dev. Oh, no. Everything is a deck dev target. Everything is a deck dev target. No. Oh, it's all dead. It's all... They, they all... Wait, what? They all die. It's, we just lost... We just lost five monsters to that deck dev. That's not good. Okay, we can use Summon Cloud, though, to revive... Um, To revive the one thing. Let me think. So what, what does this say? If you special summon a monster with a... With, okay, when you special from grave, it does die. Okay. So, yeah, it can special from grave, which is neat, but then it just kills itself. So it's like some whack... It's like Valhalla, but sort of miracle fertilizer, but, like, worse. Well, not worse, necessarily, because it does both. We draw into Christia with four fairies. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're actually just going to win this game because we drew Christia with four fairies. We get bottomless. Okay, never mind, never mind. It was not to be. We're going to pop the set brain control, though. Opponent has Whirlwind, though. We could easily just die if they draw the right card. However, they don't. They draw into an MST, which doesn't do anything in this situation. Our Ghost Fog is dead. I thought this card was bad. What the hell? If this card is destroyed, distribute Fog Counters. <laughs> We're just playing, like, the most Fog Counter. They drew Dust Tornado. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're actually going to beat to death by a, <laughs> by a freaking Altus Acid Cloud. Oh, my God. It's happening. It's happening. They're not dead yet. They have a deep prison. They're going down to 200. Oh, we just passed. They draw mind contact Blackwing player, man. They couldn't draw anything. They deck dev for six, and then they outed the Christia, and then they couldn't draw anything for like four turns in a row. 
That's so tragic. I mean, it's kind of their fault, though. Why are they on Dust Tornado post board? You really think Cloudians, you got to bring in all the spell trap hate? I don't know. I don't know. What does is, what is Cloudian Squall do? During your standby phase, place a, a fog counter. We're just playing all the worst Cloudian cards. And it's working somehow. <laughs> oh, man. What is going on? Okay, we get another fog counter. Okay. Well, now we use Acid Cloud to pop a back row. Now we summon uh, Altus, get two more counters. This thing hand rips, I think, if you remove three fog counters. So that's pretty good. Um, wait, what? This thing every... Wait, why did it... Why did that Vayu just get a fog counter? Am I... It's only on your standby phase, right? Am I missing something? No, yeah. It's only your standby. Maybe... Is that what they did? I don't know what they did, actually. All I know is we've got a bunch of guys in attack mode, and they're getting hit into. However, we just keep getting more fog counters, and we are now going to... Wait, every monster on the field gets a fog counter? Every one? So we got five fog counters every standby phase? We're just going to blow up the whole field. Now, the Altus isn't really doing anything because their hand is empty. So, like... But we just get more fog counters. So, like, they, they, their spell traps are just permanently getting slaughtered by the uh, by the poison. Why did you set it? I guess if you don't set it, it's going to get hand ripped, though. <laughs> we're killing all their cards on the field. We're killing all their cards in the hand. The, the, we're somehow just, like, beating them with cloudy and fog counter control. <laughs> Black Wings, by the way. S tier dad. Oh no, they tried to drop dad. They have four darks. Okay. That would have been such a disaster though. That would have, we'd have lost everything. We'd have lost everything. Now we're going to gain more fog counters though. And we're going to rip the dark arm dragon right out of their hand. However, we're getting walled by the Kalut. We can't, we can't get over the Kalut. Bro, that, all right, more fog counters. We just kill the solemn judge. Like you set it, you lose it. You don't set it. It gets hand ripped by Altus. We're going to crash the Sheep Cloud. Sanctuary in the Sky in play now, though, so we're not taking any more damage. However, we got to get around this Kalut. How do we get over a 1,400 attack monster? I don't know. It's a puzzle. Heavy Storm. We activate Starlight Road, but we clogged our board by summoning another Acid Cloud, so we actually can't. We can't. Okay, but we're getting more Fog Counters. How many are we at? Are we going to kill them with this Updraft? We're at, like, we're at 3, 12, 14, 18... 24 so we flip up updraft and we inflict 7200 burn damage you <laughs> stall burn cloudians that's what this is you're playing stall burn cloudians but they like they can't have any cards because all their cards die to our our stupid like combo every turn <laughs> that is the silliest shit i've ever seen all right black wings annihilated good job riptide you done it <laughs> Oh, toxic. Okay, Edison format replay here. We have is um, what is this? This is Eltonin stuff. I don't know what to call it. Eltonin Monarch. Eltonin. It's Eltonin. Okay, we're we're gonna summon Eltonin. We're up against. It looks like Lightsworn. Um, and the Lightsworn player has opened a vaguely slow hand, which means um, well, it means they're down bad. We are going to indeed summon that Cyber Valley, draw two. We find a mind control, which could be good if we ever just take this Raikou, which it looks like we might be doing now. Oh no, disaster, disaster, opponent, opponent. This is so, it's so, so bad. We go into Armory Arm, which is cute because Armory Arm is a light machine that we can access from the extra deck. So I guess that's maybe a fair reason to play Plague Spreader in here, especially if we got maybe some milling, maybe some Raikos. Um... Opponent's just going to go Lumina into Light Sworn, Wolf, or Lumina to Wolf. Hope one of them survives, I guess. And then you could Celestia, but of course, none of them shall survive because we have Cyber Elton. And, and it looks like we might just be following this up. Wait, the Armory Arm should have been banished. Oh my god. How did you not catch that, bro? Your Armory Arm's supposed to be banished. It's a light machine. Well, it's game over anyway, right? It's game over. We're activating Return for the Different Dimension. We're summoning a bunch of big dudes, and we're going to just attack for game with the Ryza. All right. Cute game number one. Let's see if we can do it again. Uh, we draw on to... Jeez. They cold waved. They just like aggressively or defensively cold waved. All right, we're going to mine con now. Unfortunately, we hit the wrong one. That's so sad. That's so tragic. We sink her off into the Cataster, but that is going to eat the Solemn Judgment because their hand is simply does not deal with that. I don't know why they didn't just summon Lumina here and try to mill some cards like... Seems like maybe a, a potentially smart thing to do. 
And we'd have just tried to hit into it the Dim Alk too. All right, we're going to hit over this Dim Alk with the Lila that we rip off the top. Actually, a very good draw in this situation. Because now it puts us back on positive tempo. We don't have to worry about getting Ryzed. We can just use Honest to defend ourselves. Hopefully try to get this JD live. Um, so yeah, we Honest here. And then what do we do? We go for Lumina, Pitch Wolf, Get Back. They just try to... What? They don't have a level 4 or lower Light Sworn in the graveyard. So they just can't even use the Lumina, actually. Well, now we know about the Wolf in their hand, huh? Uh, end Phase, Mill 6. And we can't out both of these, which does mean that we're going to be eating that second Honest. Okay, is JD live yet? One, two, three. No, it is not. They're going to have to go ahead, attack, mirror force, main two. We're not going to JD main two. Uh, we're just going to hold on to it for next turn, which probably a good call. Activate solar recharge, draw one, draw two. Got to go for that judgment dragon now. You're going to eat a bottomless special Jane, summon out another JD. And we're going to float into Battle Fader, which is going to keep us alive. They can't afford to pay for Judgment Dragon. They have to end phase mill 5. They mill a wolf, two wolves, and Plague Spreader. Um, but yeah, the, the Ryza is decent in here. Though they do have to get rid of this Judgment Dragon, and there's no Light Machines down there. So I think we might have to stack for Plague. There's no... Oh, there's a Necro Gardener too. It's a bit of a rough situation. However, Judgment Dragon can't wipe the board right now so if we just go for colossal and defense we should be able to stall end phase decree all right well colossal just comes back like what do we we're read yeah exactly wait 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 they have plague down there okay wait they gotta they gotta wait a turn though don't they and they die to they die to colossal over jane How were they not dead the turn before, actually? Did we not have lethal? I, they just needed one more turn to be able to stack for Plague, make Brianac or something. I don't know. Maybe they, they should have switched their guys to defense. That, that might have solved it. All right, final replay we have. We have the um, the alternative format that isn't Edison uh, here, which for this uh, episode is, in fact, going to be a Light Sworn format. So the format right before Edison... Well, actually, like, all the formats before Edison, like, for, for a solid two years or so, were just completely nuts from the release of Dark Armed Dragon up until Edison format. But the format immediately before Edison format was also completely nuts. It was called Lightsworn Light Format, and it was named as such because this card, Charge of the Light Brigade, was at three. And then also, you know, Lumina was at three <laughs> also. And then I think Necrogardna was at three. And, like, zombies had more cards. It was just, like, a lot of stuff um, that's at 1 in Edison format. Was at, like, 2 to 3 in um, in Light Sworn format. And you're going to see some of that insanity here in the Mirror match. So, we're starting off with Charge into Lumina Garoth. Um, pretty standard open. I mean, like, you got to think about it. With 3 Charge of the Light Brigade, you're pretty much always opening, like, some crazy Light Sworn opening hand. Um, so, uh, we're up against Kesha, by the way. So... <laughs> Cool, I guess. He's going double Lumina Garoth. The only thing better than Lumina Garoth is two Luminas plus Garoth. So we're going to Honest here to protect our Lumina. End fate. Wait, oh my god, no. They lost their Garoth. They don't get any Garoth draws. Dang, that was such a good Honest, actually. All right, we're going to try to hit over Mirror Force, though. Kind of people crazy that um that people were playing Mirror Force in Light Sword form. Wouldn't that just, like, always get picked off by, by Lila? I don't know, I guess. Um, So we're going to Garoth here. Now we're going to get to do the double Lumina, double Groth, and we draw two cards. Oh, no. Oh, no. Opponent go going to mill a wolf. Now they get double Lumina revivals. They're going to hit over our Luminas. Um, why didn't they hit over the Groth, actually? <laughs> Am I crazy? Kesha, what were you thinking there? We're milling down super low, though. Oh, man, we're getting so... We're, decking out has got to be like a serious, serious issue here. So we're going to go into Urquizos, into a level 8 and Colossal Fighter. Foolish Burial, set pass, and we've clogged our board with wolves. This Colossal's in attack, so we can, like, crash something. Yeah, if we put this in defense, wouldn't we have just decked out, actually? I'm pretty sure that Kesha would have decked out. Instead, we could sack for Plague, go in for Mistworm, end phase mill three, mill another. Yeah, there's just Gardeners everywhere. Look at this. This card is... Is there three Necro Gardeners in this format? I think there might be three. I think, yeah, this there's full three Necro Gardeners in this format. Pretty crazy. Um, all right, we're attacking with the Wolf and the Mistworm. Torrential Tribute down, but, um, oh, man. One more turn and they deck out. 
How do we stay alive? We summon Honest and trigger our own Torrential. Wait, what? We just did, like, some illegal-ass play, right? There's no way Kesha allows it. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> that just, like, does not. No. Okay, they summon Judgment Dragon. Bring down the Honest. Did he not realize there's another Necro Garden in the graveyard? Oh, no. Oh, no. We, we actually just, like... We actually just deck out because we forgot about Necro Garden. Wait, who admitted defeat there? I Kesha lost, right? Am I... Uh, he should have decked out when we guarded there. Okay, Kesha did admit defeat. All right, I, I got that right. I got that right. All right, so we're going to be doing some recharge shenanigans here. It looks like there is some zombie stuff going on here. So maybe it's like a zombie... Zombie Sworn, I guess. Not really zombie Twilight. Twilight's like a different thing. Twilight means you have chaos monsters, right? I think that's... I think that's what's going on there. So Kesha going to bring out the Celestia. Take out two of our guys. Take out three of our guys. Um, oh yeah, like, Burial's at 3 in this format, too, or something? I swear Burial's at 3, too. I, th I think it is. I think it's... <laughs> There's so much insanity in this... The, in the, in the format preceding Edison is actually not okay. Uh, so Celestia, again, gonna come down. This time we have the Beckoning Light, though. Gonna add back JD plus Honest. Our Aaron dies. We're gonna take 23. But hey, we got Judgment Dragon, and that's pretty good. Are there any Necro Gardeners down there for us? There are, which means getting rid of this Judgment Dragon could potentially be a pain. And Kesha does not have any Necro Gardeners. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. So, Kesha just passed, or what? I don't know. It looked like Kesha passed. Why didn't he at least try to force out that Necro Garden? Huh. Well, one way or another, I think he's gonna lose, because we got just, like, so much Grave set up. We have the JD with the Necro Garden protecting it from the Honest. We have multiple Bazookis. It's just, like, not, not going well for us. Wow, yeah, this forehand is completely crazy, actually. It is... It is kind of nuts how wild uh, the game was for, for a period there um, between, like, 2008, 2010. It's just, like, not okay. All right. Well, as always, we're going to end the video there. So hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought in the comments. I'll see you next time. Peace out.